We have entered the third wave of digital marketing. The first wave was all about desktop computers. The second wave was all about mobility. And the third wave is all about connected everything and the internet of things. We've been so interested in this trend in the automotive space around autonomous driving and what that means for people, for consumers, and for marketers. Something else we're really interested in is what we're referring to now as autonomous living. And with our, you know, with our clients, we're looking at how marketers can create content for the space sometimes using voice recognition software. So either create an Amazon skill for Alexa or for Google Home, or you know, create content that actually uses voice recognition for storytelling. So some of the technologies at CS that I'm really excited about is voice active devices like Amazon Echo, as well as Amazon Go, which is also from Amazon. It's connected to Amazon Shopping, so you can actually place your complete order through the Amazon Echo, through the device, and it'll get delivered to your house. What does that mean for marketers when all you need to do is essentially say a name on one end and your desire on the other, and suddenly something arrives at your door? So when we walk the floor at CES, we look at three core things. Number one, technology that excites us, what's new and innovative in the marketplace, from artificial intelligence to augmented and virtual reality all the way to autonomous driving. Artificial intelligence is a big trend that we're seeing at CES this year, and it's something that particularly interests us. I mean, really, when you think about it, what happens when you have these digital assistants, essentially, that can understand what you need before you even realize you need it? So. I didn't realize that I was out of soap. I didn't realize that I was out of detergent or cereal, but yet someone else was able to remind me of that. So what happens when arguably you're giving a lot of your decision-making, your personal decision-making over to a machine? But what's also interesting about this is we think about um, how our brands can offer more utility in a brand on demand world. How can we adapt to what a consumer needs in that moment and make sure that we're delivering it as seamlessly as possible? What's really exciting is the world of mixed reality. When you think of mixed reality, that's augmented reality, virtual reality, and holograms all built into one. Obviously last year, AR had a huge hit with Pokemon Go. Everyone's wondering what's gonna be the next AR for either their brand or their entertainment platform. Uh, but also this year, we're looking at how we can bring in VR for our clients, right? There's, there's been a lot of talk about he VR headsets and going wireless and you know the, 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 the inclusion of that at scale, but also we're looking at how we can tell stories adaptively in VR. So if you think about VR in the world of commerce, I could walk into a virtual store, try on a virtual clothes, and then actually purchase those clothes. If you think about what that looks like in the world of fixing my home, I could put on a virtual reality headset and see different products within my living room. And once those are in my living room, I could see where those products fit, and then I could tap, and I could actually purchase that and have it sent to my house. So it's easily making the frictionless shopping experience much more immersive and better for consumers.